Good morning, Seekers. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to get deleted. So, let's just do a react while I drink my coffee. Toodaloo, let's go. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. your garbage. Dear God. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Ooh, she almost threw up. She's looking rough, folks. Yeah, baby J. Miss Fortune. Hey, Rosalia. I don't feel good. I bet. T, Lauren, Fiona. I don't like feeling like shit. What happens when you party hard in Thailand? Or Vegas? Hey, Tracy, I'm I think I got food poisoning. <laughs> Which dish? Potato <laughs> corner. Oh, Ooh, all the chicken skin. What? Oh, I don't talk about it. Mm. Then don't talk about it. You're making me sick. Thanks, Philippa. Hey everyone. I don't know what is wrong with me, but like my anxiety has been like, you know where you feel like you just can't relax? Like I, I took me forever to get to bed. Oh, I don't feel good, don't, oh. Oh my God. Oh yeah, and stop, stop, stop reporting my videos. She's trying to get me demonetized, you guys. She didn't like that I played the, um, the I hate all men. I gave up my cats for you. She didn't like that. She don't like a mirror either. Why do I feel like this? Well, let's go down the list. You have been eating absolute crap food since you got there. Uh, you've been overindulging in food. You have diabetes. Um, you may have diverticulitis now. Um, and uh, you still don't heed the warning from your own body. Yeah. You should be at a clinic, to be honest. No, I didn't fight with Solo. <clears throat> Why would I fight with him? I didn't have beef with him. <laughs> God, and yet you still, even if it's water. Oh. Sorry, guys. Just give me a... Uh... Why'd you go live then? You should be at a clinic. For real. Hey, Trixie. I got. I gotta speed her up. My gosh, it'll be deleted before I even finish recording it. Blood sugar was like it's not not elevated like more than normal. What's normal to you? You're not blocked. 
No, I don't throw up on stream. I can usually make it. I just realized she's wearing those same sweaty, dirty clothes again. Oh my God. To the bathroom. I don't feel like, I don't know. I just feel nausea like I've been, I had a bad accident. What? No. No. Oh my God. Again, oh another pair of underwear I have to throw up. Oh my God, two out of four. Where'd you put them? Oh, like, I don't know what's going on, but my gastro. I've been nothing but sick since coming here. You went to another country and you've been taking chances with the food from the street. Are you kidding me? I never in a million years would do that. Ew. Ugh. To the pile. It's in the trash. They're in the trash in your room. Oh my God. I'm glad I'm only drinking coffee right now. If you need to talk. Thanks, Tracy. I'm just like, I'm a mixture of Since yesterday, I feel sick. Since the potato place? Yeah. Nobody eats that much grease, especially with di being diabetic and having no gallbladder. Ugh. Oh. And my anxiety is like making me feel like not good. It's probably from the THC. <sighs> Baby Trixie. I'm going home. I'm supposed to be traveling soon. How am I gonna- When? I'm gonna travel like this. Thanks, Tracy. People are like, go to the doctor. Oh. Same can be said for you, Aaron. You could not wake up either. Only God. Yeah, but when you're having stuff going on like you are and you don't go to the doctor. Knows. There's no point in changing my return ticket. I'm leaving in a couple days. So I'm trying to pack. Dirty clothes. But I feel sick. Then I had to clean this mess. Well, you made the mess. Yeah. No, I'm fine. We'll miss your Bangkok era. Yeah, right. Hey, Wilma. I know I will never miss this Bangkok era. Or the Kuwait era. Oh my God. It's brutal. If I don't feel good, I can go to, I can call in uh, Kuwait. Can you imagine? You finally get to the finish line where you get to fly home and you're so sick you can't travel. And you gotta extend your visa. You gotta extend your airline ticket. <laughs> You'll need a nap. Oh, because you ate the nastiest shit known to man. Up you. <laughs> In another country. Taking chances. She just rolling the dice. Ugh. I know I'm never eating. Like, why? Why? Why would I eat potato corner? Because you're gluttonous and you obsess over nasty food. So stupid. Pretty much. I ordered some fruit, like a fruit platter, because that's the only thing. And I you can... still gotta eat. Why don't you just get a juice? <laughs> Why do you have to have a fruit platter? Why don't you give your stomach a break? I think I can stomach. Probably not. Ugh. Oh, I thought you guys were being sarcastic about missing Bangkok. Yeah, see, so you got real defensive for no reason. Good, uh... Ooh. 
She looks rough. You need a bachelor? Welcome to Fair Point Beauty, ready to peace. No, go Last on. night. What? I felt like I had, like, anxiety. Uh-huh. <sighs> oh, this is bad. I think I have a lot going on. Ugh. The potato corner, something is making Ooh. me sick. Then... What? It could be, because, like, you know, when I first got here, I dabbled in, like, gummies and stuff. Dabbled. You were greened out every night. Which I wasn't going to talk about, but... <laughs> well, we already knew. I don't think I can... I, I'm staying away from THC forever. Maybe... Sure, Jan. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. Me, like, I feel like... Whenever I used to do the wheelchairs in Canada... I used to get this really sick feeling in my stomach, like anxious. Duh. I can't stand THC. Total paranoia. Anxious feeling, like, in my stomach, the whole, like, always. And I feel like that feeling is back, and I hate it. I hate it. And yeah, I haven't... Then why'd you do it? I've been doing the gummies because I'm trying not to do that anymore, right? <laughs> right. So... I would say overall, I feel a lot better when I'm clear-headed and not taking anything. Uh-huh. Um, I had them a couple days ago. Probably yesterday. Probably. <laughs> and I may have missed a pill or two of my <gasps> escitalopram, so I took... What's escitalopram? Is that the psych drug? That just today. Oh no. Might have missed. But I didn't think you could actually withdraw from that. Is it a psych med? What is it called? Estepalogram? What is it? Pram? <laughs> Esta. What is it? That's the telepram. I'm just going to spell some crazy shit. Okay, this is probably it. Depression. Yep. <gasps> you dummy. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. You were mixing that with THC? I feel sick. Like, I don't want to even think about yuck anything. And then on top of that. What? Confessions of Thailand. I love it. What? You take Sedalopram? I'll feel better in a day or two. Yeah, but I gotta travel. I'm gonna be sick. Well, these are choices you make, sweetheart. You can't just trauma dump on people when you decide to do all the things you did. Oh. You think so, Leslie Cat? Missing psych meds with THC. Ew, I'm never doing it again. Okay. No, I'm not. Only because you don't feel good today. Yeah, I like to just be on nothing. Even coffee. Like, I, find, I think that would be too stimulating right now. <laughs> you think? Listen, you would have all your nerve, central nervous system firing on a bajillion cylinders. Like, right now, you're like a long-haired cat in a room full of rockers. Oh, goodness. Maybe you should go to a clinic, and they can chill you out help you out if they can understand you oh my god this is crazy this is crazy so nothing stimulating nothing anything at all i don't know youtube lover come on keep confessing so what I else like what else i don't even know how i'm gonna travel <laughs> me either I'm glad I'm not sitting next to you. Isn't it funny how she knows? And then she knows everything, and we're all haters, even though we keep warning her. I'm freaking out. Uh huh. I don't know. I know this is just like paranoia. Maybe I don't know.
Uh-huh. <clears throat> usually Salah, like we talked last night. Oh, shiznet. Till late. And then I was, like, falling asleep, kind of. I couldn't sleep. Like, I, I usually fall asleep at, like, this time, maybe, like, I don't know, midnight or one, the latest. And it was, like, 7.30 in the morning. In the morning? Wow. Yikes. So I messaged Salah, and he's four hours behind. So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to go to bed soon. And then, like, what about you? And uh, he's like, yeah, because, like, we were video chatting before. And he's like, I'll probably go to bed, like, an hour tops. Of course like, you were video chatting. You had to see where he was. I didn't hear from him yet today. Oh, no. You kept him up all night. Oh, wow, you are an on-demand kind of wife. And it's 6 p.m. here. Like, I fucking... Oh, my God. Which means it is 2 p.m. there. Mm-hmm. I hate this shit. I hate, like, worrying about somebody, like, stupid stuff like this. You ain't worrying about him. He's just... You're demanding. And insecure. I can't even imagine the hell she puts him through. So, I'm messaging, I'm messaging... And calling and nothing. <laughs> Remember when she called Nader like, I don't even know, 200 times? They were only dating for 21 days. She, He was going out with his friends, but he really wasn't. He was with a woman. <laughs> so that's what that reminds her of. <laughs> and then she drove over and peeked in his windows. Oh, my God. So now I'm all worried. Like, stupid things. Stupid, like, irrational, stupid thoughts. Irrational? You think it's irrational? No, that's a that's a rational fear. That's a rational fear with him. It's like, what if he... Every time you're out of town, he's hooking up with somebody. Doesn't want me to go back and he's left me. Wait a minute. I thought you said he couldn't wait for you to come back. So now you don't know if he really wants you back? Probably not. But whatever, you're coming back. <laughs> what if he ran away with someone? What if he got stabbed in the night? What if he got in a car accident? Like, I, what are you, 16? Who even thinks that? I don't know. He's probably... What? Oh, he's still asleep. Yeah, that's what I figure. He usually wake, he messages me, like, as soon as he wakes up. Wow. How exhausting. <laughs> but I don't like this feeling. Like, I need to know where he... I want to know where he is. Like, Okay, so I don't like this feeling, and I need this feeling to go away. Can I, okay. Pay attention to what you're saying, foodie. It's just like when you want a piece of chocolate cake, but you know you shouldn't eat it because you're diabetic and it's really bad for you, right? Step one, <laughs> don't obsess. If she can't stop obsessing, maybe she should go get some serious cognitive therapy. Like right now. <laughs> wow. 2 p.m. Can you imagine having to live your life trying to calm somebody's obsession down? <gasps> that would be so exhausting. I'd be like, whatever, leave me alone. I hate that feeling. I don't know, I have these like weird intrusive thoughts. So why does everybody have to bend a knee to them? Why don't you just figure it out? Paranoia, yeah. I mean, I remember that when you're like 16 and you got a boyfriend and you, you're you just, you know, you're just like over the top. Like, I don't know if you'd call it in love. It's, it's obsession. I remember that. And that's a horrible feeling. I couldn't imagine it. 40. That's how I feel when you don't go live for a day. Of course they do. Would that be teardrop? Probably. Maybe he really did go to bed. It's natural. You have been away from your husband too long. It's still really normal. That's natural and normal. She didn't have to be away from her husband if she's married. That would mean she's a resident of Kuwait. She could have just went home, changed her ticket. Yeah. I don't know why I do these things to myself. <laughs> I can't even listen. It doesn't even begin or end with your obsession over men. It's food. It's everything but your health. Why don't you be obsessed with your health and getting healthy? 
That'd be a great turn of events. <coughs> and yes, I totally understand that I'm hoarse as shit. My voice is so hoarse and froggy because I just got up. And I seen this and then she ended it. And I'm like, oh God, she's going to delete this. This is a nugget. Yeah. Now I'm out of coffee. <clears throat> the last stream was pretty harsh on him. Yeah, which I won't be tolerating anymore of, by the way. Oh, poor dude, baby. <laughs> at, at all. I hate when someone doesn't answer if he's just sleeping. Well, still. Thanks, Lisa. The tracker says he's at home. She's tracking him and still questioning his whereabouts. Let that sink in. Wow. Oh, my God. Like, like, Discovery ID episodes are made from this kind of stuff. It's like, it's, it's, it's contributing to my anxiety. Like, hearing from him would, like, help. Wow. This is nuts. I need everyone to make me feel better. Me so much. When you quit taking your psych meds. While you were in Thailand doing THC, because you probably figured in your brain that the THC does a better job for your psych than your meds. You quit taking them, which is a no-no, because it'll make your head be all messed up, chemically. Unbelievable. What? Time to microchip. She can microchip him. You swear he's sleeping? Okay, I'll believe you guys. Of course he's sleeping. Or he's not. Getting in one last before you get home. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've seen his equipment. He's sleeping. Lisa, right? Me too. <clears throat> I always, usually he doesn't like have to worry about that with me, like, because I always answer him right away. Most. <laughs> <laughs> Does she really think in her brain that he has to worry about that with her? <laughs> you meeting up with the, the local tuk tuk driver? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Mostly or. He knows like my sleep pattern and he just <laughs> Yeah, it's like 12 to 14 hours. He knows when I'm sleeping. And if you're not sleeping, you're live. Oh my God, that's gold. Thank you. 45 times. It's gonna wake up and be like, oh shit. <laughs> you called him 45 times and then you pushed the live button. Wow. You ever see that meme? When you go fall asleep for a nap and you forget to tell your girlfriend. <laughs> you're that girlfriend. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> I can't believe you're still wearing the same clothes, though. That just really grosses me out. You literally put on the same clothes. You have no plans on washing your clothes before you get on that plane. Oh, my. You shit your second pair of underwear. Threw them in the trash in the room. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I just can't comprehend this. But I'm telling you, this is the most entertaining show I've ever watched in my life. Oh, feel good. You think so? I don't know what it is. Well, I can't be 100% sure. Even if he calls you, you can't be 100% sure. God, oh. he can leave his phone at home and then watch this live stream and run home. I mean, come on. I'm gonna barf. Oh, God, don't throw up. Then I'll throw up. It'll be a whole chain reaction. So that's what's bugging me, so you guys have to stay on with me until he, until he wakes up. Aww. That's great. Vampire. This is a vampire move. Um, I need your energy to calm me down until he makes me feel better. Oh my god. This is a constant. I have an idea. Why don't you get up, take a shower, maybe wash out, maybe go to a laundromat. There's plenty of things that could have kept your mind off this. You know what I mean? Oh, uh... Redirect your thoughts into something productive. 
don't even know if I can eat fruit. Oh, I'm sure you'll try. I don't think the sugar would help. An air tag necklace? What do they do? Track people? Listen to these crazy beezers. Put an air tag on his ass. <laughs> she goes home, sews it into all his underwear. <laughs> You're going to need a lot of them. Holy crap. <laughs> Literally. I talked to him like when I was falling asleep, so maybe 7.30 a.m. and it's... Okay, so you fell asleep at 7.30 a.m. You don't feel good, but you slept almost 11 hours till 6 p.m.? He could have done a lot in that time. 6 p.m. now? Uh-huh. My husband travels once I fell asleep and my phone died, so he just called the police. Mm, I was pissed. <laughs> Do a mega long stream like Hecate? Yeah, maybe. An air tag on my cat. Okay. Who puts an air tag on their cat unless they're running wild? Mm. She really can't be alone. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Yeah, I hope so. So you know she only traveled because she had to. I want to be sick. I hate, I hate feeling like this. Then maybe you should reevaluate your life. No, I don't know anyone who, who I could contact to ask about him. Oh my God, don't do it. Oh, wait a minute. You don't know anyone? You have no one's phone numbers? His family? Nobody? Okay. Wow. And it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon in Kuwait, and you don't know anybody you could call to check on Salah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I love the little truth berries. No, he wasn't upset when I last talked to him. He was fine. Why would he, being upset, have anything to do with him not answering her phone calls? These people need to think a little deeper. Oh my God, listen. If it's been 11 hour, he's either sleeping or something happened with his phone avoid or avoiding you. <laughs> listen to the beezers. Have Murad's number? I don't have Murad's number. I don't even have his family's numbers. Of course you don't. Then somebody's going, please go to a hospital. And then somebody else said, I hope your organs aren't failing. Oh, my God. As if. As if baked. I have not seen the terrifying movies. I don't like them. I don't like, like, or two or just gore. I'll just wait and see. I don't want to contact anyone and be like, I'm worried about Salah. He didn't answer me in two hours. You would. You would. Trust me, you would. How was the if you head? had their phone numbers, it would drive you so crazy you would do it. On your bed head? Oh, you mean on the headboard? It's gone. Isn't that funny though? She doesn't have any of their phone numbers, none of his friends, none of his family. What does that tell you? Mm. No, I'll just wait. No. Somebody goes, she doesn't look well. She looks clammy. <laughs> oh my God. I would be at the doctor's if I was in your health condition. Yeah, he's probably just sleeping. Probably fell asleep. Couldn't fell asleep. <clears throat> I know I couldn't until like 7.30. Can you imagine? She gets off the plane. He has to take her straight to the emergency room. If she makes the flight, being as sick as she is. I can't, like, I have this, like... You know when you have really bad anxiety and you have that feeling in the pit of your stomach? Like, it won't go away. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's anxiety. You could have... Uh, whatever. <sighs> Somebody goes, that means she wants to interrogate him to find out where he, what he's been up to. Absolutely. And he just lies to her anyway. What's the matter? It may, as long as it makes her feel better.
this Kelsey's not helping out. She says, I'd be a wreck alone in another country without my husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never sold him an image of who I was. Are you kidding? Okay. We do remember him saying, she's shorter and bigger than I thought she was. Do you not remember what I was like when I met him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only thing that's changed, you put a hijab on. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Right from the get, I named off every everything about me. Um, named it? I'm sure you left some things out. He checked out my entire channel. You deleted a lot of that channel. Like, no, he was well aware. <laughs> yeah, but then he demanded that you put on a hijab, become modest, and delete all those videos. Four million views worth of videos. Don't feed it to on After it. you told him, and I think you lied about what you made. Well, you probably didn't at the time. I'm sure. So he could excuse all of that. And so could his family. So it's been 12 hours. I struggle with anxiety my whole life. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's hard, eh? It makes you think things, you know? No, that's just you and your insecurities. I'm still reading her chat. <laughs> Somebody goes, derp, derp face. And <laughs> hopefully she don't go home to an empty apartment. Excuse me. Ooh, that sounded rough. And then Derpy Derp says, if he's not there, just turn your towel and straight back to Canada. <laughs> Canada lights. I'm sure she'll do a live stream first. And Fuzz Butt, Fuzz Butt and Mutt said, I think he's really pissed about last night's stream and he's throwing a tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of the changes I made were for him at all. All of them. <clears throat> Absolutely were for him. If you change for someone else, no. You did. You told us. I just not answering his phone. Yeah. Hey, Jessica. Yeah. He does sleep a lot, yeah. Well, and Riley Riley said, honestly, at least he didn't come in the chat. I hope he means his threat. In other words, Riley Riley does not want Salah in the chat. Not really. Oh, I can't sing right now. I'll die. <laughs> Call him 80 times. Good Who wants her to sing? God, they want her to perform like a circus monkey. Morning, my sweetheart. And she sings. Okay. Hey, Mimi Cherry. <clears throat> no, Nina. <laughs> so, I should. <laughs> no. Still, Imagine. I can't believe no, you're still I, I, I'm just more worried about him. Like, I don't know what's going on. No, you're not. You're worried about your intrusive thoughts. He must just be sleeping late. I don't know. If you said he must still be sleeping, then you said, I don't know. It means you don't even trust. Trust is number one in a marriage, but we already know he's broke the trust many times. We were video chatting until late, late, and he was like in bed. Like he doesn't leave the bed early. Like Sure. You ever seen the teenager that's got the covers pulled up and they're in the, all their clothes? <laughs> Good night, mom. <laughs> right? Unless he has to go out somewhere, but... He doesn't leave unless it's to go out somewhere. Okay, Magellan. Anyways, I'm, I'm not insinuating anything. I'm just, oh, that's just how I am. I'm always nervous about stuff like that. Maybe you should work. It sounds like a you problem. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, jeez. The weird heart. What are you doing for your birthday? Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't mad at me. He'll be with his other wife. He's yeah. with his other wife. <laughs> uh, it's like 2, 2 p.m. there. <laughs> so doesn't he have a job? 
I didn't think so. The guy's always sleeping. Because he's up all night. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I did check the last... I, well, I, I didn't check. I didn't notice on WhatsApp. But on TikTok, he hasn't been active in, like, for... Oh, my God. Then she checked all his social media. Wow. Yeah, this... Wow, this relationship's really gonna work. Forever. Another cheater that you have to worry about. <clears throat> yeah, come here. Oh, I don't feel good. Uh, cheer me up. Huh? Wow. There he is! Oh my god. You gotta be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Look at this. Wherever he's at, he's like, ah, shit, I gotta go in the chat. I thought he was never coming back to the chat. Ben, I was telling everyone I miss you. No, you were telling everybody you don't trust him. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, yeah, back to the chicken skin. What? <laughs> you guys, I don't feel good. Yeah, you probably have a parasite or something. That's why you're crapping all your pants. But the chances you take with food is insane to me. My God, there's no way. One of the reasons I could never go to another country, especially like Mexico, street food. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I bet you them cheesy weenies are catching up to her. What? Huh. Undercooked sausage. Undercooked chicken skin. <laughs> Maybe I should get off and come back when I feel better. Oh, so you can FaceTime him and see where he's at? Oh, probably. I feel like this could be deleted. Oh, yeah. Look at this. No. You know she's going to delete it. Okay, I'll come back. All right, so that was that. I'm pretty sure this is going to get deleted, so I'm going to hang on to it like a little nugget in case it does get deleted, um, or I'm just going to upload it in its entirety and uh, let you guys enjoy it, um, and I'll go live later. All right, guys, I love y'all. I'll see you later. Bye now. Bye, Chantal. Bye-bye.